price has been paid. Colossians chapter 1, 12 to 14. Let's hurry up. Colossians 12, 1 to 14, please. Giving thanks unto the Father which had made us, watch this now, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. 13, now, the Bible says, who had delivered us from the power of darkness. Someone hear this, hear this. And has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. 14, now, in whom we have redemption. How? Through his blood. That is the price, the blood. Even the forgiveness of sins. Colossians chapter 2, 13 to 15. Let's hurry up. These are the things you need to hear. And you, being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. How many? Then blotting out the handwriting, of ordinances you know what the handwritings are in joshua selman's family let no one rise because of where he comes from if people are about to rise let them die these things are ordinances they are not statements they were not written with pen and paper they were written with blood and sacrifices whether in ignorance or in idol worship they are called ordinances but the bible says there is a master cleaner that can wipe this away blotting out listen if you don't believe this you will not have the confidence to receive blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us the writing was not for your favor what was there I don't know what it is but I know it was to destroy me which was contrary to us what is contrary against opposing No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up. Hear me, the price for your healing tonight, fully paid. Hear me, in our economy, we allow for part payment. And sometimes the owner gets angry and says, you have paid, but you didn't pay all. If your rent is 1.2 million, you can pay 400,000 and say, please give me some time. The man can say, okay, depending on his own state, if life presses him, he can come back and say, I changed my mind. That's why he paid fully. Fully means not owing anything again. So that which was supposed to keep me down, ordinarily it was supposed to keep me down, except that someone came in my stead and paid that price. Notice, the next thing in the Bible that followed paying the price is an advocacy for a lie. The moment Jesus resurrected, the next plan was cover this up. Let people not know. That is always what happens. The next thing, when Satan knows that this is a reality, the next thing becomes to cover it up so that you will never find out that because my father died an idol worshiper, and buried all kinds of people and I came from that lineage it doesn't have to be that way the price has been paid Amen. hallelujah Amen. price has been paid how was the price paid by a righteous man being unrighteous so that unrighteous people might be righteous hmm. paid the next thing you have any devilish dream and you see some other people calling you tell them you are calling the wrong person no no update your data in the spirit you are calling the wrong person no you are calling the wrong person calling you to come and do what and die calling you to have the cancer calling you to have the no you are calling the wrong person 
Listen, don't just, this is a miracle service already. This is the ministry of the spirit. Something is happening to you. Just because you cannot speak English, who said you cannot rise? Just because you left a, a house where the roof is leaking to come here, who told you that must be your destiny? Nobody ever rises until you are mindful of what you hear. God is love, what you hear. Jesus came as an expression of the love of God, what you hear. He came to demonstrate the love of God. Is someone learning now? Many of us have been hearing a lot of things and it has destroyed our potential. The price for all that you will be receiving tonight is fully paid. Last year we had our workers dinner and I watched as my precious people came gallantly and sat down and ate with joy and confidence everything that was before them. Some did not spare at all. They had no time for any, any composure that leads to regrets later on. They ate whatever they had in front of them. Say fully paid. Fully paid. Fully paid. Fully paid. Fully paid. Fully paid. The price for your rising, fully paid. Now, listen, you will be wondering why it's been fully paid. And yet, it is not yet your inheritance. This is my assignment to show you. But whether or not you have experienced the dimensions of God you need, the first thing is to accept that it is fully paid. Fully paid. Longevity, fully paid. Prosperity. Say that one again. Prosperity. Your health and your life. Entering into your prophetic destiny. The price for that mantle to rest on your life. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. If you like, show me the photos of my forefathers holding arrows and burying whatever. Congratulations for connecting me to history. But from the realm of the spirit, you are talking to the wrong person. Honestly, this is what I believe. Fully paid. Somebody, that, that's your revelation in Koinonia this night. Fully paid. Fully paid. Fully paid. The devil can go places, it is fully paid. Fully paid. Sit down, please. Do you know why this is powerful? Because you will see people receiving things tonight that they don't look like. It was not them that paid it. Someone paid it for them. Listen. If you think you are so poor and you are so weak and I decide to pay for a five bedroom flat with a three bedroom BQ, you will even be afraid as you are entering it. But it is still paid. You will adjust where you are inside. You can't adjust outside. The adjustment happens inside. It's a miracle service, so it's still a miracle service. Number four, let's hurry up. What is the fourth revelation you must have? It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not give God glory. This is an uncomfortable truth, but you must accept it. It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not glorify God. This awareness is what will plant a dissatisfaction in you that even if it is after one year i will fight the fight of faith you cannot fight until you are aware that that current situation is not the will of god if it is the will of god then that means you are fighting god if you think sickness is the will of god you are fighting the will of god trying to get healed if you think poverty is the will of God, you are fighting the will of God. The awareness of the will of God is what gives you the confidence to know what to fight and to know what to allow. It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not glorify God. Matthew chapter 8, 1 to 3. My goodness, let's hurry up. Matthew chapter 8. Watch this. When he was come down from the mountain, the Bible says, 
a great multitude followed him verse 2 and behold there came a leper and worshipped him saying Lord if thou will give us amplified in fact amplified thank you behold a leper came to him prostrating himself he worshipped him and said Lord if you are willing I don't know whether this is your will you are able to cleanse me from by curing me verse 3 read it as loud as you can my God I sense the power of God already and he reached out and touched him saying I am willing one more time I am willing one more time as a result be cleansed I am willing prosper I am willing rise I am willing be great you need to know what the will of God is this is one of the assignments of the Holy Spirit man of God it is the will of God for you to excel in ministry it's not the will of God for you to be small souls cannot be saved when you are small don't mind ignorant people it is God's will for you to rise to contend for strategic kingdom influence for the sake of his majesty it is the will of God for you to be anointed in ever increasing dimensions so you can do more for Jesus it is the will of God for you to prosper so you can give in conferences like this without it affecting you and without you frowning the will of God that means everything that is not the will of God tonight let that become your prayer request let that become yours your point of annoyance you are a man of God and you came here and it looks like you love God sincerely but ministry is not working don't sit down wondering is it the will of God to lift me now you know what to pray for when it's time to pray Lord the anointing that brings consolation to men in ministry that that grace will locate me indeed <laughs> mm. let me give you one more everything that does not glorify God is not the will of God and then the final thoughts that I will give you can you imagine we're just dissecting what you hear God is glorified when the word is made manifest in your life God is glorified. You are not the only one who is happy. It is in God's interest that the word works for you. God is glorified when the word is made manifest in your life. Matthew chapter 9, 6 to 8. Let's hurry up. Matthew 9, 6 to 8. But that ye may know, this is the healing of the paralytic. Remember, they brought a man who had palsy. He was paralyzed. And they asked Jesus to heal him. And Jesus said, your sins be forgiven you. And he, they called him blasphemous. And he now said, which is easier? But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins. Then he said unto the sick of palsy, arise. Take up your bed and go to your house. Next verse, please. And he arose and departed to his house. Verse 8. <laughs> And when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. There are men that have such power. Did you hear what I said? Not everyone, but there are men that God gave such power. What kind of power? The power to heal. The power to silence your yesterday. Did you hear what I'm saying? There are men, and as I'm saying it now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands as one by grace who has been given such power. It's God that gives men such power. That everything that has mocked God in your life, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, let it die permanently this night. Give us that scripture. But the multitude saw it. If it is God, men must see it. Are we together? It is your training that is in secret. 
when God begins to display his hand upon your life, the multitude saw it like you will be seen shortly. And the Bible says they marveled. But you see, this is the difference between the promotion of flesh and the glorification of Jesus. When men marvel and the credit goes to the man of God, then something is wrong. Anything that is sponsored by the Spirit of God must directly glorify the Christ. They marveled and they glorified God, which had given such power. I found this scripture and I said, my God, he never said had given power. There is something called such power. Signature results that only come with certain dimensions of impartation. Such power. Given such power that you can tell somebody by this week, may God lift you. There is a grace. Listen. If you don't have it, humble yourself and find out how to receive it. But don't say because I don't have it, it's not there. There are people who were given such power. For everyone who has attended this miracle service, I'm prophesying to you in the name of Jesus before this week is over. May my God, by the administration of such power, surprise you in a way that will bring tears from your eyes. Surprise you in a way that will bring tears to your eyes. If God can replace a fallopian tube that has been removed, medically proven, May my God replace everything that has been lost in your life. Do you believe this? Hmm. So the hearing of faith, it says, beware of what you hear. Sit down. Let me wrap up. Then we begin to minister. Hallelujah. The next dimension to the hearing of faith is found in Luke 8 18. Give us amplified. Luke 8 18. He now says, Be careful how you hear. This is the second dimension to the hearing of faith. The first talks about the correctness of the information, but the second talks about your attitude while you receive. Don't just be careful about what you hear. You must be careful how you hear it. For to him who has spiritual knowledge, more will be given. And to him who does not have spiritual knowledge, even that which he thinks and guesses and supposes that he has, will be taken away from him. Hallelujah. So the first talks about the correctness of the spiritual information upon which your faith is built. But the second talks about your attitude, teachability, the swiftness to obey, trembling at the word of God, not bringing all kinds of um, arguments around the word of God and rendering it of non-effect through your traditions. Hebrews chapter 4, I'm reminded from verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, let us therefore fear less a promise being left us of entering into his rest. The promise is for us, but we can miss it out that any of you should come short of it. Verse 2, it says, for unto us was the gospel preached. Ladies and gentlemen, hear this. As well as unto them. So there are two groups of people, us and them. But the word preached did not profit them. Why? Not be mixed with faith in them that heard it. So their problem was not hearing. They had the truth. But they did not mind the attitude. They doubted, oh, is it true that God can do this? I know this is true, but can God turn my life around? Can I really be a, a Deborah? Can God pick me from this lowly estate with all my limitations? There are two cautions in scripture. Number one, what you hear. Number two, how you hear. James chapter 1, 22 and 25. Be ye doers of the word. Be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only. It starts with hearing. But performance is not just about hearing. 
it says if you hear only you are deceiving your own self next verse please it says but who so look at into the perfect law of liberty and continue daring he not being a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work he said this man shall be blessed in how many all his deeds all his deeds say i'm a doer lay your hands on your head and prophesy say i'm a doer i'm a doer the grace to do is released upon me in the name of jesus i wrote something here and i want you to listen only those who obediently act on the word get results from it only those who obediently act on the word get results from it only those who obediently act on the word get results from it he that ministered to you the spirit and worketh miracles among you did he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith that means if you want to work miracles the first raw material is to bring the correct information by the spirit serve it to god's people with excellence then the next thing cultivate an attitude of faith within them you see this is what the bible calls the sent word psalm 107 and verse 20. he sent forth his word and healed them not he spake his word the sent word and delivered them from their destructions hear me koinonia the word that is about to come that will produce the supernatural miracle right now is a sent word and there are three ways to access the sent word can i give you that before we pray number one light from scripture the first way believers access the sent word is light from scripture light from scripture right for reference luke chapter 4 from verse 17 to 21 jesus was in the temple and it was delivered to him the book and he found there where it was written and verse 21 says when he looked at them their faces were fastened on him and he said this day is this scripture that was written fulfilled in your ears light from scripture hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do to do thy will it is written already light from scripture you can find from scripture what god has said and that becomes a sent word number two sent words come as prophetic instructions directly from god or through his anointed vessels this is the second way we access the sent word. Number one, light from scripture. Number two, instructions. Directly from God by his spirit or from his anointed vessels. John chapter 5, 6 to 9. We see the power of the sent word as instructions. When Jesus saw him lie, him being the man who had been at Bethesda for 38 years and knew that he had now been a long time. He said to him, will thou be made whole? Next verse, please. The impotent man said, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me in the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Verse 8, Jesus said to him, if you believe, rise up, take your bed. Correct information. He heard well now what was going to be his response to the sent word the bible says immediately at the instance of the word the man was made whole whether he knew he was made whole or not was a different thing but the bible says he was made whole and he proved that he believed he was whole by taking up his bed and he walked and that same day was the sabbath so a word can come in the name of Jesus Christ. If you've not walked, stand up and walk. You can sit down there and perhaps not get a miracle. But somebody will take a step of faith. Check your body. Do when prophetic instructions come. They are not just some gimmicks and mechanics from men of God. It is by the Spirit. It is a sent word. Sometimes it can be to shout. Sometimes it can be to lay your hands. can be to keep quiet. Under an atmosphere of the Spirit, you must believe 
and respect the sent word that comes as prophetic instructions. Number three, how does the sent word come? By prophetic declarations. These ones are not instructions, they are speakings. Ezekiel 37, 7. I prophesied as I was commanded. He did not instruct the bones, he prophesied. And there was a noise, and behold a shaking, and bones came together, bone to his bone. I prophesied as I was commanded. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 2. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. Let me recap again. That when it has to do with the administration of the sent word, there are three biblical ways. The sent word that brings healing, that brings deliverance, that brings lifting comes to believers. Number one, light from scripture number two prophetic instructions if it be thou bid me come and he said come he never said peter come he said come whoever acted on that instruction would have been the beneficiary of that word and then number three prophetic declarations i always wondered why our fathers of faith would spend almost half of their preaching time speaking and making declarations that literally sometimes these fathers can go for ministrations and not even preach so much they just tell you that they came to speak and prophesy and sometimes naive and ignorant people say what is all this one now and then they keep praying may God bless you may God open doors and people are shouting amen and usually you will see someone very proud and careless with no results wondering okay will this work and you will see somebody with their hearts opened an attitude that compels the spirit of glory to rest on them days hours weeks years later people return with strange testimonies all these three you are going to receive you have already received light from scripture the next is going to be the prophetic instruction backed up with prophetic declarations there is no reason why the sent word should not work in your life are you ready to receive rise up please And it doesn't matter where you are, whether you are in here, all the overflows outside, it does not matter. Let your heart be ready and open. And for a global family following from across the globe, I want you to believe that everything you have heard is truth according to God's word. Go ahead and pray now. I receive your sent word. I receive your sent word. I receive your sent word. Someone is praying. I receive your sent word. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive. I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my. Shabala kaparaku sabranda balakus yada. This right here is the dynamics of walking in the supernatural. I do not know what you wrote in your request. Hear me, believers. I don't know what pain brought you here. Some of you travel from nation to nation across the seashore to be here. Do not waste your moment. Some of you are coming here for the first time. Some of you are men of God, businessmen, parents, young people, politicians, elders. It does not matter. The rule is the same. He that cometh to God must come believing. 
that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him in one minute i'd like you to say father i am here now visit me visit me give me a testimony give me a testimony by the spirit of the living god Are you praying? God will surprise you. That you can be sure. You go ahead and pray. The answers for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me i want you to listen carefully if you came here with any kind of neck pain any kind of neck pain whether there's a bracelet on your neck or some medical you cannot move your neck any kind of neck pain whether you are inside you're outside i want you to lay your hands there right now the power of god is healing people you're not able to move or you're not able to move well your neck lay your hands there right now lay your hands there right now father in the name of Jesus Christ necks every neck pain by the power that raised Christ from the dead Halis Kamera Subriya I decree and declare let the healing power of Jesus rest upon that neck now rest upon that neck now rest upon that neck now the power of God is coming on a lady right now I'm seeing a divine surgical procedure that is happening in your stomach this is something that looks like a swelling around the left side of your stomach but the power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Touching you by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone you cannot chew with the left side of your tooth. It looks like um, something is shocking you. Your molars. It's like you feel a lot of painful sensation. Right now as I'm speaking to you, the power of God is resting upon you. Now, I'm going to give you some instructions shortly, but I just want you to follow. Something is happening. Right now, please take it higher for me. You're not going to shout. Just allow me to do the speaking. And I want you to bring all those under the anointing now when I make that declaration. You don't shout. Usually I'll ask you to shout, but the Lord is telling me something differently. And I want to please ushers will be very, very fast. I'm seeing a door in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing there are chains tied to that door and tied to people. This is what the Lord is showing me. And the Lord is saying these people need to be set free now some of them are whole families some of them are individuals who have been asking what is the cause of this issue in our life right now i'm going to pray father in the name of jesus everyone who is tied by any demonic chain of witchcraft i told your people that the price has been fully paid and I announce again to the realm of the spirit that every price 
for your liberty has been paid therefore in the name of Jesus be released now be released now bring them out Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Sabao Yahweh At the count of three, I'm seeing fire falling now. And as soon as that happens, please bring them out quickly. There are chains that are going to be breaking right now. Age-long chains. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice who has been bound by witchcraft of any kind, at the count of three, let those chains be broken now. One, two, three, break now. Break now. Break now. Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Sakate pakato katsegeta. I command those chains to be broken. No matter how long they have tied you, tied your family, tied your destiny, in the name of Jesus, be broken right now. Chains of poverty, chains of sickness, afflictions of any and all kinds be broken now bring them out mysterious chains afflictions in the dream all kinds of things eating demonic things going to satanic places I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit remove names from covens in the name of Jesus. This one I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus. Any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven, right now as you shout that name, let fire burn everything right now. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Let it be burnt now. Let it be burnt now. Every ordinance, every ill speaking, every ordinance, be broken, be broken, blotting out every handwriting, be broken in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing close to you, please bring them. There's a reason I ask you to bring them. The ushers are limited, my apologies, but please help them. Chains, 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 chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I'm hearing Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. What is it that has to do with ancestry? that is tying down people from that region. Right now, you are from that state. Anything that has hapakatoskiata, that has tied you down, be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing Kogi state. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to families. If at all they marry, the women must return back to their parents' homes. I'm praying for you. I don't know what curse and what yoke is upon such families. But right now in the name of Jesus, by the authority that is in the finished work of Christ, let that curse be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. 
Be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing in my spirit shame and reproach. Hear me. I preached a message here last year called Ichabod. There are many of you as you are standing now. There is no dignity and no honor in your life. Everything that represents honor for you and your family has been taken away by darkness. Can I pray for you? That veil, I, I tell you, I see the power of God resting on people right now. Every veil sitting on your head, covering your glory, bringing shame and reproach. I tear that veil now. I tear that veil now. Parokotos I tear that veil now. I tear that veil now. I'm hearing a name Jennifer. Jennifer. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. Let me tell you, if God locates you, that's the end of it. Mm. Jennifer. I want to pray for you. There is one of you, I'm seeing that people don't rise. There's a spirit, I'm seeing like, like stones. This is what I'm seeing. Father, I don't know what altar has tied down Jennifer's destiny. But right now, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. There's someone they call you Junior. Your name is Junior. I don't know. Junior. That's what they call you. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. They call you Junior. I want to pray for you. Please make sure you don't tell lies. If you are not Junior, sit back quietly so that we don't waste time. Junior. There's someone, the power of God is coming on you. You work in UBA, United Bank for Africa. There is trouble. I need to pray for you. UBA, you work in UBA. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I'm praying for that gentleman. You are a male. In the name of Jesus, every conspiracy that is about to lead to your losing your job because you came here this night. What God says to one, he says to all. In the name of Jesus, anything that wants you to leave what God gave you, whether it's a job, whether it's a position, I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Junior. Why am I saying ladies? You are called Junior? Okay, Jennifer. Junior. Father, my friend, God is going to use you mightily, this man. Eh? I don't know you. But you need, you need God to train you and build you. But there is a mighty man of God that is coming out of you. I'm praying that the grace of God will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Junior, I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm seeing one of you is like a spirit. And I'm seeing crying upon your mother's coffin. That something happened and she just died. In the name that is above all names. I pray for you, Junior. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, every pit the devil is digging for your mother to enter and die because you have come here, they are exempted from death. They are exempted from death. I'm seeing someone you deal with metals. Metals, is it construction or fabrication? You deal with metals. I'm seeing someone stand and all around him I'm seeing metals. I want to pray for you. For these ladies, have I prayed for them? Jennifer, please help them. Jennifer. There are two of you. I just saw light come on you. And the Lord is telling me that everything that represents reproach is living right now. In the name of Jesus. 
believe what you are seeing no because what god is doing here he's doing the same thing in your life now he's doing the same thing in your family now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now um the lord is asking me to pray for someone who will be very fast about this and i don't want you to be embarrassed if you're not comfortable coming out that's fine don't come out but you are trusting god for male children this is your prayer you have cried this thing and cried god gave you female of, i don't know but your prayer is for a male child ordinarily i would not want to ask you to come out but i'm hearing this in my spirit god does these things as a witness so that men will know that there is a god in heaven you are trusting god for a male child not that there is anything wrong with gender whatever number one make sure you are married number two you are trusting god please if i call you let's be able to distinguish who is who is um, coming if i prayed for you in jesus name you are you are blessed we'll take testimony shortly please quickly quickly if you are coming out come if it's a spouse you can come together A lady is going to start shouting and prophesying by the Spirit. It is a grace that is coming upon her. And she's going to be used mightily by God for her family. Remember when the spirit that was upon Moses rested upon 70 elders. Listen, let me tell you sincerely, my dear people, God answers prayers that you have come here openly. I pray for you. The women can place their hand on, on their stomach. The men, your chest or just connect by faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. There's one of you, I'm seeing something tie you. That thing is about to leave you now. I'm seeing something like a snake tying you. Let it go now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, it must release you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, but the person the power of God is coming on is in the congregation. Every time you are pregnant, you see snakes, serpents. And when that happens, you must lose that pregnancy. God is ministering to that person now wherever you are I stretch my hands whatever connects you to serpentine spirits that will not allow you rise in the name of Jesus be free now be free now be free now for those of you in front here because you have come by the word of the Lord and I'm praying for those in front, but it includes everyone. I see lots of people at the overflows. In the name of Jesus, according to the time of life, may the Lord give you the male children you desire. I don't know if you are going to believe this, but there's one of you standing in front here. The Lord is doing a divine surgery now. I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach, literally, as you are standing in front here. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, right now, may the Lord do that supernatural surgery. That supernatural surgery. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. You just stand and you start misbehaving for a few minutes. People have been suspecting that you have, um, I don't know what the medical condition will be now, but this is something like an early stage of madness. You just misbehave, you become disoriented. A spirit comes on you and you want to remove your clothes. You are an adult, I'm not talking of a small child. And I'm not talking of maybe someone autistic. If there's such a person as that, please come out. I want to pray for you so that God will deliver you now. For those of you who are in front here in the name of Jesus, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Christopher. 
Christova. Christova. I'm hearing the name Christova. 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 Shani Sali Kabaruska Brendigidia. Sir, where are you coming from? East. Oh, yeah. I want to pray for you. Thanks. Don't feel bad, eh? But I need to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And I'm wondering what is somebody who is alive doing inside a coffin? You see, let me tell you. We are intelligent people. Though. When we deal with demonic people, we are not stupid people. There is a place for principles and intelligence. But if you walk with God and God opens your eyes to the realm of the spirit, that's when you will know that evil is real. Christopher. I'm looking, don't be embarrassed. If God calls you here, it's because he, he's bringing you liberty. That you are looking at a man standing, but in the spirit, you are seeing somebody inside a coffin. What is he doing there? One day, an ordinary bike will just hit you, and you just fall down, and that will be the end of it. No. Anything that is plotting death for you, hear me. In the name of Jesus, like Haman, whoever digs a pit, may they fall into it. I say it again, whoever digs a pit in the name of Jesus, they fall into it. Christopher, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, one of you will start shaking now, very strong under the anointing. Not just falling, shaking. I don't know why, but this is what I saw in my vision. Shaking like somebody's vibrating under the power of God and it's an impartation that is happening to you it's not deliverance it's an impartation by the spirit I stretch my hands now over Christopher particularly this man that I prophesy to ah you are receiving the spirit of wisdom there is a Christopher that is receiving the spirit of wisdom extraordinary results will happen by the wisdom of God in your life sir by the power of the prophetic I bring you out of every coven every grave in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah there are many many pastors here many many pastors but there is a pastor there is a pastor that is i'm um, not the basement the other overflow the smaller one before outside there is a pastor there if you locate a pastor there please i want him to come i want to pray for him his life is about to change in the name of jesus christ <laughs> hallelujah Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone, your mother sells food. Don't be embarrassed. Your mother sells food by the roadside. This is, I'm seeing a vision. Your mother sells food by the roadside, but you are a diligent person and you want to move forward with your life. This is what your mother does. And she's been taking care of her family. The Lord is saying that she will impart favor on you. I don't know who that person is. Don't tell lies your mother. Not your auntie, not your relative, your mother. Come. One of the first laws of receiving from God is obedience. You can't tell lies and want to come and receive. There are some of you who want to come out for everything. If it's not your word, just be patient. I've taught you on faith. Be patient. God will speak to you. He doesn't have to directly call. My God, something is going to happen to these people now. Hi. This my God. This my God. Your mother is selling by the roadside. Please, make sure you. Number two, don't be embarrassed. There's one of you here. You are living in the house of a rich man. You know what I mean. Leave that house 
after this service because I'm seeing something that has to do with the ritual with you I fear God though and I respect myself I will not hold the mic here before the whole world and be talking stupid things I'm telling you now this man sleeps with you that's your work let me just go straight I'm sorry for being vulgar I know we're talking to the whole globe but this is yours it's not like your house help or maybe they employed you this is your work I'm telling you this they are going to ask that man to bring somebody and he's going to bring you the house of God is like a hospital there are times you are performing surgery on people it may look messy but the truth is that the end is the health and the safety of the people hallelujah your mother I'm going to pray for you because many of you here you love God don't be ashamed though don't say my mother sells something and is petty and so on and so forth there is nothing to be ashamed of you are about to witness the lifting power of Jesus because for some of you the first thing I want to do here is to break there is a course that will not allow your family members rise and for some of you if I don't pray for you not to insult your mother but what she's doing is what you will still do even if you're a graduate I pray for you in the name that is above all names every spirit that will not allow you rise as I'm praying for them I'm praying for you whatever wants to keep you down that you will not rise that you will not shine that you will not thrive in the name of Jesus I take authority over it now I take authority over it now I take authority over it now hear me hence God called you people to come out here I decree and declare the grace called favor that rests upon people and rewrites their story if you believe this I impart that grace upon you I impart that grace upon you I impart that grace upon you you will return a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ I announce to you that this is a miracle service where God will raise you from the dust of shame finally in the name of Jesus Christ raise you from the dust of shame and decorate your life like Pharaoh did that of Joseph you believe that shout a loud amen hallelujah no man walks alone you see a man alone but there are forces we carry is that true a man can walk alone if you met the madman in Gadara and he came and met you and just shook your hand you would believe you were shaking one man not knowing you were shaking a legion the same way you can see one man and believe you are shaking one man you just you will know that you shook hand with speed you shook hand with favor you shook hand with breakthrough you shook hand with elevation it is true graces are trapped in men it is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work this is why I came here Lord I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family my loved ones why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes there is a way out I don't know what the way is but I know there is a way out and then you engage by faith are you ready to pray will take two or three minutes to pray I want you to release your faith sincerely God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power lift your voice in one minute everywhere whether you are outside whether you are inside all the overflows go ahead and begin to pray indeed it is my night God is giving me a story Shalika Parakos Sobranda Gebeleketash, Kepratika Bareka Scotta Beleketa, Manta Prakata Beleketos Katibala Sandabash. This disease, this infirmity is living finally. Someone pray. This embargo of shame and reproach, backwardness, retrogression is giving way in the name of Jesus. Take a minute to release your faith. 
It's time for gates to be open. It's time for doors to be open. Time for new chapters to be open. Make sure you are praying engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor and limited begging and in servitude in the name of jesus i curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray the lifter of men lifter of men I will hold on to the storm and I will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men the lifter hallelujah in the name of Jesus hear me hear me tonight there are three things I want you to fight by faith number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation number two smallness in life and destiny this is you know the purpose of influence so I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you for as long as you remain small you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom smallness is a curse let me tell you straight to the point do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing there is greatness without vision that is also a foolish template for living but in the presence of vision and understanding there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life and then number three poverty do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped that is the truth there's a song that is in my spirit in the in the Caribbean, one more time. The light of the world. Yeah. 
when the magi followed the light they did not miss their way it took them straight to where jesus was ladies and gentlemen there is a light that when you follow you will look like you will not get there but one step a day one step a moment you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny a praise to god and a praise to the nations hallelujah now hear me hear me i want to pray please listen to this instruction i've told you that faith is connected to obedience and i want you to listen to me please listen to me i want to pray for the sick now i sense a very strong anointing i want to pray for the sick but the lord is revealing to me that there are people here you achieve things but they never last it's not like you don't start you will start and make progress but there is a spirit that must bring you back no you saw it with your parents some of you are experiencing it now you've had jobs so it's not like you are unemployed but there is absolutely nothing to write home about as i pray for the sick i'm going to pray for those people i want you to bring them out because the power of god is coming on those people and on those families i want to pray as soon as that song was raised that's what the lord began to minister to me in my heart and then i'll pray for the sick we'll take testimonies now ah there is the light that is coming here tonight in the name of jesus everyone paros kadibada please bring them out very quickly we have a lot to do tonight i stretch my hands and i decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down goes up only to come down there is no longevity in impact i decree and declare right now be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment 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 my goodness fire is falling in this place be delivered this moment in the one more time. Jesus, I'm still praying in the name of Jesus. Rising and going down by the spirit of the living god whether it's for you or for your loved ones i stretch my hands now that fire let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever 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 be separated now and separated forever in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah a strong healing anointing is moving in this place right now strong healing anointing i'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases salika parako sadebalende gebos chakras kadebala sudyash there's someone fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head there is healing that god is bringing to you right now everything that is not of god lay your hands i want to pray for the sick now help that man hallelujah lay your hands i want to pray listen as soon as i pray for you miracles are already happening 
the power of God will touch you right where you are I want you to check yourself and make your way to the front right now right now for those as soon as I pray for you a miracle is happening check yourself the moment you find out you are healed make your way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ the first that I'm seeing in my vision here there is somebody you feel like something is being pierced through your neck to your spine I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit please play the strings for me in the name of Jesus may the hand of God rest upon you now help them please may the hand of God rest upon you now every demonic headache masquerading as anything recurrent headache I decree and declare be healed now be healed now be healed now any eye condition total blindness partial blindness I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Ghost begin to see now begin to see now there there are people who cannot move their legs I don't know if it's whatever pain in the name of Jesus the power of God is resting upon you begin to check yourself now and do what you could not do in the name of Jesus now hear me all kinds of pains are about to leave you will know because you will check the pain and it will be gone completely I stretch my hands pain goes now pain goes now help them please pain goes now pain goes now pain goes now back pain be healed now shoulder pain be healed now neck pain move your neck now be healed in the name of Jesus there is someone being healed of goiter goiter in the name of Jesus may the power of God rest upon you I bring you healing and I bring you life healing and life someone with a heart condition I cause that spirit right now and I release you be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone you you are not able to sit down I don't know if it's pile or some boil or just just swelling in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you now you're going to feel the fire of God rest upon you and that devil will leave you now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not I'm seeing someone kidney problem you're having kidney problems if I don't pray for that person I'm seeing that you would die in the name of Jesus whether you are here or connecting from any hospital may the Lord raise you from the, de the bed of, of languishing in the name of Jesus Christ be healed from that kidney condition you could not bend every time you bend there is severe pain in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you let that pain disappear now let that pain disappear now the Lord is showing me someone your toes you have a problem I don't know what problem it is your toes it looks like um is getting hard I don't know what the medical condition is but I know that it's affecting your toes the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus there is a lady and a gentleman two of them will shout now under the anointing the Lord is healing someone connected to your family this is in the name of Jesus I know everybody but there are two people the Lord is revealing to me and I decree and declare whoever that person is let a visitation come for you come for your family members in the name of Jesus there's someone there are particular foods you cannot eat when you eat them you start throwing up and you will even be sick God is revealing this to me now I am not a doctor 
I will not advise you as against medical advice, but all I know is that anything that is related to the devil must leave you now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a woman's husband. This is your husband. I'm seeing a, a situation affecting his mobility. He's unable to move. He's beginning to affect his leg. It looks like arthritis. In the name that is above all names, whether you are here represented or so anywhere across the overflows or online, I declare, who is Rachel? Rachel, come. Your time has come. Oh, your season has come. pray for you the Lord is visiting the family of Rachel and the Lord is saying he's taking away arrows of witchcraft this is what I'm saying I decree and declare be delivered now now by the Spirit of the Living God may the hand of God I stretch my hands every spirit of witchcraft around the family of Rachel be delivered now be delivered now what he says to one he says to all be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ is there someone with a name Livinus I'm hearing a name Livinus is it Lavinus or Livinus somebody Livinus the Lord is bringing deliverance to that family Livinus or Lavinus whether you are here or following online I want to pray for you I'm seeing someone in this row I just saw light someone in this row the hand of God is coming on that person right now there are two men of God I'm seeing a chapter close in your ministry and another one being open the fire of God is coming on you now two men of God I don't know where you are, whether you are here or scattered around. Father, I pray that you locate these men and open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. In the name of Jesus, open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, multiplied visions. This is what I'm hearing. Multiplied visions. There are men that are coming into this realm where God is opening your eyes. Multiplied visions. Receive that grace right now. Multiplied visions. Accuracy in your perception. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Is there someone here with the name Godia? I'm hearing the name Godia. That should be a, maybe most likely someone from the north. Godia, please we have a lot to do make sure that Godia if if they are outside of this place no problem let me just know I want to speak I heard that name Godia in the name of Jesus every manifestation of spe the spirit of death is there someone with the name AGK AGK I believe that that most likely is an Igbo name AGK who is that the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are entering your season of reward. A season of reward. AGK, who is AGK? Okay, you sir. You are entering your season of reward. You are entering your season of reward. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, may my God visit you. May my God visit you. I'm still seeing another AGK that the Lord is revealing to me. AGK. That's the is that his name? Verified. Is that your name, my friend? Huh? What's your name? What do you do? I'm a civil engineer. You're a civil engineer? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. There is somebody who does furnitures. I see the hand of God coming on you. You are about to explode. There is a supernatural grace 
that is coming on your business this is what the lord is revealing to me who do you do furnitures furnitures oh, yes, you make it or you sell it i make furniture you make furniture yes, lift sir. your hands yes, sir. something is about to shift in your life in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for you by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be a supernatural manifestation of grace a supernatural manifestation of grace the lord is showing me someone you are a lawyer but you have never been employed this is what i'm seeing there is a spirit of shame it's not just you your family members the lord wants to change that who is that person don't tell lies make sure that you are you're a child of god you is she a lawyer practicing lawyer yes sir i'm in private practice you've never, never been, been employed yes sir how long have you been practicing 15 years yeah yes you can ask Madam, are you a lawyer? Hold on, hold the woman. Take it easy, madam. I have for 16 years. I'm for how many years? For 16 years, I've not been employed. It's okay. It's, don't worry. You are in the house years. of God. Just believe. I don't know you, madam. You, how many years? Brother, 20 years. Where are you from? I'm from Benway. Because Brother. there is a spirit. I need to pray for you. This thing has tied everybody in your family. And it kills the man in your family. I want to pray for you. You see, evil is real. Oh. I'm praying for someone here. In the, everything that is masquerading itself around your family. As I'm praying for these ones. May that grace rest upon you now. All of you in front here. Right now, be delivered now. I release you now. Every plague of witchcraft over your life, let it be broken now. Over your career, let it be broken now. Twenty years. Look at this woman. No nothing. Now, you, you watch in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, these same people will return back here and they will tell you doors have just opened just like that that is what the power of God can do hallelujah hmm. check your neck there's someone I don't know what was wrong with your neck but I want you to check it now a miracle has happened I will soon ask those who, are, who have been healed to come out but something just happened in my spirit Mildred I'm hearing a name Mildred Mildred who is Mildred Mildred in the name of Jesus wherever that person is Mildred now the Lord is showing me a very unique case to pray for a family when people marry in that family they must die this is what I'm seeing when they marry one of the spouse must die within the shortest time it doesn't matter whether it's the man or the woman there is someone who belongs to that family where are you come one of this family is a southern kaduna family yes. i want yes. where are you from, yes. I'm from southern kaduna, sir. Southern kaduna. Yes, sir. stand here i want to pray for you yes, Southern Kaduna, I'm seeing this family. There is witchcraft that sits on the destinies of people. And if one person ever rises, that person must die. Something must kill that person. And so you find out that all the great people, 
people who would have risen is like something just brings them down i want to pray for you i'm not a prophet of doom my assignment is to bring light and liberty in the name of jesus christ father right from the foundation of this family let evil and witchcraft give way now let evil and witchcraft give way now let evil and witchcraft give way now in the name of jesus christ let evil and witchcraft give way now hallelujah now i don't want you to come out i will just mention the case because the lord revealed it to me and i'll pray for you there is a family the ladies in those family there is a spirit of prostitution on that family almost all of them don't come out just for social reasons so you are not embarrassed but i want to pray because i'm seeing five ladies and every one of them is practicing one kind of prostitution or the other it's like the spirit insists that is the only way that you must eat either some man somewhere or something somewhere and they are sincere people but it's a spirit this thing I'm seeing by revelation that is started right from their mother. I don't know where that family is represented, but I cry unto the God of heaven, the one who shows men mercy, that yoke that they may not even understand that is responsible for this level of decadence in their family. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. There is a plague of sickness in your family. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. This is what the Lord is asking me. The, the Lord is asking me to pray and break that yoke. You are twins. Where are you come? You are a twin, sir. From where, sir? From where? I want to pray for you. The other twin is the twin here? No, he's But I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something relating to your blood. I have to pray. Huh? This is like a blood condition yeah. that... Twin, so... Did you hear what I said? Are you a twin? Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> where are you from? From Abia State. <laughs> I need to pray for you. Leave her now. I command that spirit to go. As soon as this lady came, I just saw serpents like that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this lady be delivered forever. Forever. I'm seeing the name of a family and I'm seeing the ground being opened and the names put in and covered. I don't know who did this, but this is what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, any family here whose destiny has been trapped listen oh i'm praying whether you know it or not right now fire is going to come upon that person be delivered now but now let the grave release your destiny let the grave release your destiny let the grave release your destiny let the grave release your destiny, release your destiny. in the name of jesus christ Father, you revealed to me that there are twins. What do you do, sir? Please don't be embarrassed. Yes. I'm a medical practitioner. You're a medical practitioner. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Father, I pray for these people here. Lord, you reveal to redeem. Please make sure you, the ones coming out, why are you coming out? Twins? Huh? He has blood condition. They are twins. He has the Your blood children? Condition. Yes, sir. Two and who? Two of them. Two of them. This one has blood the blood condition. Co what was the condition? Bleeding disorder. It's called hemophilia. Bleeding disorder. He lost a finger because of it. He lost one finger? Yes. How old is he? He will be five next oh month. Oh my God. I want to pray for you. Please believe. When God visits people, is for redemption. I stretch my hands right now. You have anointed also God to be extensions of your power. 
therefore I decree and declare that everything that is happening to any twin here represented right from the foundation till this day I decree right now I'm seeing fire resting on you people in the name of Jesus be delivered now let that fire rest upon you be delivered now in the name of Jesus even for the kids I decree and declare let this blood condition come to an end now let this condition come to an end now hallelujah you are the only person alive in your family among your siblings they are all dead who is that person the lord just showed me a vision i need to pray for you please don't be embarrassed when god i hope i'm not wasting your time where is the person please rush the only person alive where are you from are you from an Ambra state? Where are you from? Huh? An Ambra state. All your siblings have died. Nine, eight of them died. Eight of them have died. Yes, you are the only one. Yes, you see, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, until God trusts you with power and the grace to see, you may never know what people go through. How many of you were born? nine of us and how you are the only one left eight have died how many of you four and all of them are gone only you let me pray for you i believe in jesus and i act as he reveals to me how do you have nine people and eight people would die how can that be the will of god I hope as I'm praying for them, you are connecting too. Because that is the purpose of faith. Are we together? Lord Jesus, we stretch our hands as a family of faith. Ah! One of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. I just saw a vision and the Lord is telling me that if, if you were not prayed for, this would have been the same case with you before the end of the year. Because this is a spirit hallelujah i'm not a prophet of doom but i want i want to pray for you you see the truth is that curses are real the power of god can set men free but curses are real hallelujah i just heard it's like two people were quarreling and this is what i just heard in my spirit didn't see a vision but i heard and all i heard is it will not be well with you this is what i heard this is like a conversation between two women and somebody is standing and saying it will not be well with you this was said to a family come and stand here there is a family that somebody told you that who told you that she's a colleague no this, anyway i'll pray for you but this is not what i'm talking about but you don't have to be on you see number one is fear god number two treat people with respect there are there's what we call self-inflicted causes and it comes because people get angry and Madam, where are you coming from? You are an international visitor? Yes. From? California. From? California. California. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you too, my dear. The scourging tongues of men is what Job said will be delivered from. Let me pray for these, our dear ones, going through this demonic thing about death. In the name of Jesus, for every arrow of death, that has been deposited in these lives and these families no matter how many of them have gone for your sake in the name of jesus may god restore the name and the dignity of this family may god use you to restore the name and the dignity of these families in the name of jesus christ and every legal access that the spirit of death has over you and over this family we declare let the blood speak now let the blood speak now let the blood speak now in the name of jesus let the blood speak now and for anyone who is a victim of the ill speakings of men that someone stood and opened their mouth whether is a curse causeless or a curse with a cause i declare let the blood speak for you now 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 let the blood speak for you now
there's someone you've been having pains at your right side or so i'm not a doctor but i'm hearing appendicitis i need to pray for you in, I believe that's most times it's a surgical procedure that manages that that situation we have a number of doctors here in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray once we pray you can you can we'll, we'll give a few minutes for the testimonies before I've not done the deliverance session proper or I'm about to do it now no it's no devil who escaped the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ my dear where are you from this fair lady looking at me States. don't be embarrassed there eh? but I need to pray for you I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck yes. huh? that people just people hate you yes. people reject you yes. people fight you yes. and they give meaning to you something that is not yes. and there are many people who have that kind of thing anybody who is being perceived wrongly in the name of Jesus that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not by the power that raised Christ from the dead I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now what's that restore song sing it for me restore Everything that was lost, restore. Everything that was stolen, restore. Everything that was lost, restore. You will restore. There is a man, I will not advise that you come out, but I'm seeing the number 59 million. You lost 59 million. I don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is but that's why I raised that song for you because the Lord is saying he wants to restore you and I'm, I'm using that man as a point of contact anyone who has lost anyone Naira I don't care for no matter how long by the power that raised, if you believe in the prophetic then I'm speaking to you between now and the next three months in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let there be supernatural restoration let there be supernatural restoration you will be surprised to see what god will do don't doubt i declare restoration first for the man god revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition may my god restore you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you can return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing Return to your seats rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith so that what is happening to you you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them it is as for me and my house me and my house at the count of three I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and i want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus delivered now be delivered now I break those yokes I break those yokes bring them out I break those yokes by the power of the Holy Spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered family
families be delivered Easterners be delivered Westerners be delivered Middle Belters be delivered Northerners be delivered Every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny we declare let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now Bring them out I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you the Lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of God is coming upon such people I'm seeing the number 11 in the name of Jesus wherever you are whether within this auditorium the balcony anywhere across in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now hallelujah gift who is gift I just had the name gift G I F T gift your name is gift gift there is a door that is closed and I'm seeing a hand trying to open that door and the Lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what I'm hearing father honor your word right now I stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of Jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of Jesus may the God of all grace swing those doors open now hallelujah there are three people in the crowd the congregation the Lord is telling me that I should pray for you you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number three I don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes it's like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted inside of you in Jesus name someone is by the pillar I'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone we are one of them the hand of God is upon you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm seeing in a vision the name UN and the Lord is saying someone is going to get a job UN United Nations now you will come and testify here I prophesy it in the name of Jesus God who revealed it may he put it in your hands I say it again God who revealed it I'm seeing UN the logo of UN United Nations may God no matter where you are may God use people to connect you to it in the name of Jesus my dear look at me this lady release this family now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare for those of you who are in front here you are delivered now please those who are up make sure they don't fall down so if they are under the anointing just guide them in the name of Jesus you are delivered now 
you are delivered forever in Jesus name 13 years no promotion 1 3 13 years you've not been promoted the Lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years you've not been promoted and the Lord is saying I should speak to you I want to speak to you by the Spirit listen when you hear prophetic words come like this don't downplay them a lot happens in the realm of the Spirit when a word is released are we together now there are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with that's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened this one happened don't be an unbeliever 13 years you have not been promoted I want to pray for you father look upon whoever this person is is this a lady this is not the person I'm seeing but I'll still pray for you in the name of Jesus 13 years no promotion father honor your word for this individual using this one in front as a point of contact I decree and declare that not only will you be promoted may God restore you may God restore you may God restore you in the name of Jesus Christ may God restore you I'm hearing the name tuberculosis in the name of Jesus one of your loved one has tuberculosis and the Lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis I'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes and you know chunks of blood comes out I'm hearing tuberculosis in the name of Jesus anyone here on ground or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis I declare be healed now now all those who are connecting from any hospital or those here trusting God for healing lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle I have taught you that faith demands the power of God demands that you engage if it's your eyes lay your hands there expecting to be healed if it's your ears lay your hands there if it's your neck if it's a part of your body that is sensitive just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact by the way you can stand for someone you don't have to be the one who is sick you can stand in for someone releasing your faith I want to pray here's what will happen as soon as I pray and make declarations already there are many people that the power of God has touched I will pray for you doesn't matter what the situation is I don't have to call it I want you to believe by faith check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened very quickly I want you to leave your seat and come to the front either by my left or my right I want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies and then I will share with you something and then begin to pray over um, the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness but I want to pray for the sick now please lay your hands believe I sing praises to your name oh God praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised there is a man immediately I'm seeing your case um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now Amen. the Lord is bringing restoration now Amen. now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of Jesus for those who are outside of this auditorium you can stretch your hands by faith I decree and I declare now let the healing power of Jesus coming like rain coming like fire let it rest upon the various parts of your body and I declare instant miracles now instant miracles now blind eyes be open now hearing problems deaf ears be open now any part of your body you could not move in Jesus name I command it to begin to move there's someone you came here with severe breathing problems in the name of Jesus as I pray begin to breathe you find out that there's freedom there's liberty you are able to breathe normally peptic ulcer be healed now hallelujah I don't know 
I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know if there is a relationship between hepatitis and yellow eyes. I just saw a vision. I saw somebody whose eyes is yellow and I'm seeing hepatitis in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who that person is right now. The healing power of Jesus is touching you. The healing power of Jesus is touching you. In the name of Jesus. There is someone you have something called um, a urinary infection you can go it embarrasses you sometimes if you don't rush to the bathroom you can ease yourself even before you get to the bathroom this is i don't I, I believe that this is some medical condition wherever you are in the name of jesus now i am praying for you let that demonic sickness that has brought you embarrassment let it leave you now in the name of jesus there's someone when you go to ease yourself you're also stooling blood it looks like pile in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil of pile be free from it this moment be free from it this moment hallelujah someone you are having problem with your teeth one by one they are being pulled out it looks like they are weakening this is what the Lord is showing me it's like the entire your entire um you know your teeth is is fragile and they've pulled out some but this is something like a cavity problem that is affecting you completely in the name of jesus wherever you are i decree and declare the power of god is touching you this moment be healed in jesus name there's someone you have your the right part of your breast there's some growth you you started sensing that there's some lump or so growing i'm praying for you in jesus name this moment as i speak that satanic lump disappears from your body <laughs> hallelujah that's what we call muzzle pool so you have around your limb area here just a discomfort that affects you it happened to a gentleman and from that day you have not recovered you are able to walk but not without pain especially on your right side in the name of jesus the holy spirit is bringing you life and healing right now you were sleeping and you felt like they drew your hair it's like somebody pulled your hair and from that time you've started losing your hair in jesus name i'm praying for you the person i'm seeing is like you are wearing something like pink like baby pink this is what god is showing me in the name of jesus be healed this moment let the power of god rest upon you now and then for some of you you have sicknesses that has not been diagnosed medically but you know you are not all right you just know you can go they check through the machines and you are fine as much as the doctors tell you but you know that it's like you are dying slowly wherever you are in the name that is above all names i'm declaring to you right now be healed supernatural healing in jesus name you slept on one side of the bed and you woke up with pain severe pain around your neck just right here and from that time you have done all you know to do and that pain remains as i'm praying for you right now that satanic thing is giving way in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not let me have your attention in the name of jesus be healed now in the name of jesus be healed now inside outside be healed now hallelujah